Oh, thank God. For what? For you. Sophia's been trying to reach you all night, and she never got a hold of you, and then she asked me to come here and check to see if you are right, and then when I came here and came saw here, all of this, I didn't... Figured out the worst. I didn't know what I figured. Where have you been? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm great. I drank myself stupid. Passed out on the beach. You spent the whole miserable night there. Aren't you glad you asked? Oh. I care about you. And I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm sorry. I know you care. Everybody cares. Everybody wants to help. Unfortunately, nobody can. It's up to me to do something about this, and I can't. It's amazing what a coward I've turned out to be. You are not a coward. Complete and utter. I'm afraid to stay in my own house. I probably have to leave before it's I'm leaving town. When? As soon as I can pack whatever I can stand to keep. Excuse me. Well, these are special circumstances, Mr. Castillo. The family's gathering at the Capwell home this evening for the reading of Eden Capwell's will. I didn't even know she had a must have been Mr. C's idea for the business or something. I'm sure it has nothing to do with me. Well, CC didn't know anything about it. Apparently, Eden didn't want anyone to know. But your name is on the list of people who need to be there when it's read. With all due respect to the family, they're going to have to count me out of this event. <laughs> now, I don't think you understand. You really must be there. I don't think you understand, Mr. Pearson. You see, I, what I must do now is figure out how to put one foot in front of another. Mr. Castillo, I... Uh... I greatly sympathize with your bereavement, but what am I going to tell the Capwells? Uh, tell Mr. C to do whatever he sees fit and uh, just make my apologies. If you should change your mind. I won't change my mind, but I appreciate you coming over here. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Yeah. I don't blame you for feeling the way that you do. Yeah, but you think that I should go over there and participate in one last morbid ritual? I don't think that it will be pleasant for you, but I think Eden meant for you to be there. Julia, you know what Eden meant? Eden meant to live. If she ever thought about something happening, it was 50 or 60 years down the line after we'd raised our kids, after we'd spoiled our grandkids. She was thinking about the future when she got on that plane. Not about dying. And I can't get over the fact that I should have been on there with her. I mean, if it hadn't been for that stupid woman in that conference in Baja, I would have been on that plane too. And God knows I should have been. I, I, I wish, I wish I would have been. Please, don't say that. Oh, let me say it. I'm not gonna off myself. I'm really glad to hear that. And Cruz, you know, unfortunately, that bottle isn't going to help you drown the pain because it will just surface some other way, some other time. Yeah, I haven't been able to drown anything in this bottle, least of all the pain. And this morning, in spite of my best efforts, to the contrary, I woke up with a clear mind. Finally came to some conclusions. That you have to go away? Yeah, I don't know if it'll make any difference, but I've got to. It'll make a difference to me. I know how you're grieving. But I also know how hard you fought to save that girl's life last night. Whatever you said to her made her have the courage and the faith to want to live. Now, you must have gotten that message from somewhere deep inside you, Cruz. And maybe if you just give it a little time. Ah, oh, time is all I got to give it. It's just... 
I meant what I said to that girl. Life is worth living. I believe that. But in my heart, I just can't get myself to care. I'm sorry again, but uh, something else has happened. Come on in. No. Um, as, as Ted and I were leaving the guest house, uh, we heard Lucy scream. She heard something. I heard his voice. He was in the house with me, and he said it again. He said that I'd be sorry that I didn't jump off that ledge last night. He must have run out when Ted and Haley came in, but he was there. I asked them to bring me to you because I know they think I'm crazy. We don't think you're crazy. You I... think I imagined the whole thing, and I understand. Believe me, I I'd find it hard to believe myself if it didn't happen to me. Do you believe me? Well, Lucy, Please, I... you've got to believe me. I don't care if nobody else believes me, but you've got to believe me. You were the only one who could help me last night on that ledge. And you're the only one who can help me now. You're worrying about someone the police probably can't find. Don't you understand that maybe they can stop her from, from hurting another innocent person? The only person I am worried about is you. We've got to get you back up on your feet. You've got a lot to get back to. Your family, uh, your boyfriend. And what are you going to do? Wave a magic wand and give me a new set of legs? No. I'm going to work you harder than you've ever worked in your life. It's easier to lie here and wish it hadn't happened. But I don't think you're that type. You know nothing about me. Don't be so sure. You know, you can come and go as you please. I'm restricted to these four walls and this bed. You think you're feeling the whole world's pain? Well, I was where you are not too long ago. And all the world I could see was out a window of a VA hospital. What happened to you? I got shot up pretty bad. And Nam Pen changed hands. I was so full of morphine for a year, I, didn't, I don't remember anything. I spent another year flat on my back and most of the next in a wheelchair. I'm sorry, Kane. Sorry is for people like you who don't mind lying around crying over spilt milk. How dare you talk to me I'll that dare, way? I'll dare more than that if you settle for lying in this bed for the rest of your life. Now, they said I would never walk again, too, but they were wrong. Now, I'm not saying you're going to run any marathons, and you might have to use a cane when you walk, or maybe you'll just be able to take a few steps and then have to get back in that wheelchair. But damn it, lady, you are not going to lie there listening to your hair turn white. Now, I didn't give up, and if I've got anything to say about it, neither will you. Pull, a little higher, come on. Use those muscles, come on, pull. That was good. I mean, you were very close. I can't do it. No, try again. I don't want to do it now. No, don't slow down, you'll lose your rhythm. I don't have any rhythm, I can't don't, do it, don't, don't make me. Don't say that, don't say that. Now, we've got to start with your arms. Now, lift yourself up. Come on, don't quit on me now. Come on, pull yourself up, that's it. Come on. I can't do it. I'm not you, okay? I'm not gonna walk again. I'm sorry for yourself? I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm tired, I'm angry, and I'm frustrated. You're spoiled, that's all. Why don't you shut up and go away? can't do that. Figures. Look, you're not a doctor. Maybe a miracle happened for you, but it doesn't mean it's exactly going to happen for me. And it doesn't mean you know how to take care of me. Won't keep me from trying. You had a rough morning. I think you deserve a little break. How about a nice walk in the sunshine? How about I've got something else in mind? Oh, yeah, what's that? You'll see. Kane, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lost my temper. Kane? Days. 
Peter Davis. Oh, Mr. Davis, uh, I got your calls. I, I had hoped not returning them would be answer enough. Then you're not here for the reading. No, I'm not. I, I just wanted to say something to the family. Cruz, I'm so glad to see you. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting by. I feel. I, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been around, but it just seemed necessary to keep a little distance for the, for the time being. Um, Screws, I'm sorry, but uh, if you can be patient for just one minute, I can summarize Miss Capwell's will in a moment. You are a persistent one, Pete. <laughs> Your sister left her entire estate, stocks, bonds, trusts, holdings, everything, to Mr. Castillo. My God. Well, I don't want it. Even would want you to have it. I don't want it. I don't care. You can keep it. You should do something with it, Mr. C. You can give it to charity, whatever you, you feel is best. Maybe you shouldn't make this decision just now, Cruz. I love you people. I love the part you played in making Eden into the woman she was, and I love the way you've always accepted me. Even though I drifted apart from my own family, I always felt like I had a place to belong here. And I will never forget any of you. This is a goodbye. I gotta leave Santa Barbara. Everything here reminds me of her. I'm sure you'll understand. Cruz, that may change. Well, it may, but I really can't afford to sit around and, uh, and wait because I'm... I'm uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet or even exactly when. I just thought I should give you a little notice at least. Don't leave not saying goodbye, please. I won't. You know, she's alive in each of you. It's amazing. It's going to make it that much tougher to go, but... Uh, I got to. I'm gonna miss you. Miss you? Yeah. I'm gonna miss all of you. Get out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I mean, it's not a surprise you don't kid around. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I'm uh, sorry about your modesty. Sometimes I'm a little too well-bred for my own good, I think. Just think of me as a, a nurse or a doctor. Okay, I will. Really? Yeah. <sighs> You're playing kiss. That. Worth waiting for, huh? I can feel the water. I mean, it's warm on my my shoulders and my my arms, but I can't feel it below my waist. Well, don't worry about that. You just lie there and let the water do it. Just relax. Okay, I'll try. Cruz, would you just think about taking the bequest from the will? You were Eden's whole life. <sighs> that, that, that... It's not what Eden and I were about. She was showing you how much you meant to her. I already knew that. You don't have to keep it. You can do anything you want with it, a worthy cause, a charity. I'm sure you could too, or Mr. C. Eden didn't give it to us. <sighs> What do you want from me? 
I want Eden's last gift to be treated with the dignity it deserves. I think this gift cruise is about hope. It's not about money. She knew that you would have to be facing the life again without her around, and she was trying to make it easier for you to do it. Yeah, well, that's a good argument. But I really don't want the money. Cruz, it's your decision. But we all want to think that the people we love are going to be taken care of if we're not around to do it. So the fantasy is that Eden is somewhere right now watching over me? Yeah. Maybe, and you can still do one thing for her. You can go on being the man that she loved. Losing her has changed that man. It has changed all of us. But Cruz, take what she gave you. Take everything. Take her memories. Take her love. And go on living. That's really her bequest. And don't you dare waste a moment of it. Had a long day. Oh, I did more in this one afternoon than I have in a week. <sighs> Glad you liked my surprise. Oh, I did. It made me feel a lot better. I'm glad. I want to go to sleep now. Okay, you do that. I got some uh, cleaning up to do. Thank you. I love you, Cruz. I love you. Any problem, whatever. I have a number of clients this place would be just perfect for. Are you looking for a quick sale? Yes, I am. Good, good. That always makes things so much easier for everybody involved. I'm gonna go take a walk on the beach while she finishes up. Ah, uh, you go ahead. Now, Chris, I love this place. I might even buy it from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it weren't for the memories, right? That's why I'm getting rid of it. I know, it just doesn't seem right, Cruz. I mean, this place is you. You know, I just can't imagine you not living here where you guys had some... I'm sorry. It's your decision, I know. It's not easy, I'll tell you, Kel. I never thought I'd leave here. I figured Eden and I would live here till we were too old to pick up the shells on the beach. Cruz, I know how painful it is to remember what you two had. But maybe someday those same memories will be comforting. You know, I know it's hard to believe. I hope so. But tonight I'm going to be sleeping with a ghost. And I got to quit doing that. Or it's going to break me. Excuse me, if you don't mind my saying so, it is a little untidy, Mr. Castillo. Just like a new car, a clean and shiny house is much easier to sell. Oh, by the way, I found this in the sink. Also, when I have the open house, I always like to have coffee brewing and bread baking. You'd be really surprised to see how well people respond to those comforting aromas when they come in the door. Now, I can clear my agenda for this coming Sunday if you wouldn't mind signing these papers for me today. Could you leave, please? Beg your pardon? I'd like you to leave. Uh, but I haven't seen the bedrooms, Mr. Castillo, and uh, I'm certain there won't be any problems, but if you want to rush things and you I want you out of my house now, lady. 